Okay, so we haven't really done any MCPs in Codex before. So today I wanted to take a quick look at how we can actually set up MCP servers in Codex and generate what you see now, a very cool and impressive avatar uh, MCP workflow. Okay, so the full video you just saw, the intro here, was just generated by one image and some MCP servers that we're gonna take a look at today that I've been wanting to try out using Codex. So the result you saw here now was kind of the result of this full workflow I have generated just by using MCP servers. So that is what I want to go through today, how I've been experimenting with Codex lately and GPT-5 and MCP servers because I didn't know so much about that. So I'm just going to walk you through how I set up this workflow here and how we can create these avatar videos just for an, from an image and an audio file. Okay, so uh, if we go into Codex, right, uh, we do slash MCP, you can see I added some MCP tools here. So this is actually the first time I've used a MCP tools in uh, Codex. So I have my Reddit server, if I wanted to get some external, um, yeah, context. Uh, I don't think we're gonna do that today, but that is something you can do. You can create like a short clip just from a Reddit post. We might even try that. Let's see about that. So I have my 11 Labs music. Uh, if I want some background music, my 11 Labs voiceover MCP, Nano Banana to create those edits you saw to different angles for the video, and I have the avatar video generator that's using the Omni model from ByteDance, I think. That is a pretty cool model. So we only need like an audio and an image as uh, an argument to generate that video. So what I wanted to do today was basically just go through how, uh, not exactly how I set this up, because I have shared all these MCP servers on, uh, let me show you here, on the All About AI um, GitHub. So you can see all the MCP servers here are now shared. So if you are a member or you want to become a member to get access to these servers, you can just, yeah, sign up below to become a member. But I've shared all these here with a good instructions of how to use them. So basically what I wanted today was just to go through and see how well Codex performs on my MCP workflow setup here because I tested it with both Cloud Code, worked very good. So now I want to test it with the Codex because I put all the servers in here now. So I think we're just going to get started. We're going to try to recreate what we did in the intro that I had with Cloud Code. And then we're going to do a new one. So let's create a new image. You can see this is my reference image, right? So this is what we start with. Uh, you're gonna see that we're gonna create different angles and stuff, but let's just run through it once uh, using Codex, and then we're gonna do a total new one, I think. So let me just walk you through the workflow here. So if I go here, yeah, I have the preview here. So I guess we can just close this. So let me zoom in a bit. So here is kind of the workflow. So the user is gonna provide an image, right? We're gonna use for the generation. And then the user is going to provide an audio file or we can create one using the 11 Labs MCP server. You can do your own file or you can create one. And to make the video immersive, we're going to split this audio into five second chunks plus any leftover time using FFmpeg. Because then we want to take those chunks and create own images. You saw me changing angle in the intro. That is what we can do with that, right? You can see here, change camera angles for each segment. So uh, in the first uh, five seconds, we have the original prompt. In the second one with Nano Banana, we change that to a side shot angle. We go back to the front, we do a POV from a bow. We do a front, we go back to the side shot. You can do whatever you want here, right, for each segment. You can also adjust, uh, I have five seconds uh, editing, right? Uh, then we're just gonna merge them, add some background music, and that's about it. Just put it together again. So it's pretty simple, but you can do a lot of complex stuff with this, right? So uh, let's do this now. So I have this workflow here, right? So if we go to Codex and I just say something like read at workflow, something like that. And it should be up to speed here on uh, what it should do, right? Let's just see. And then I'm just gonna say execute this workflow using the MCP tools. Execute this uh, workflow using the MCP tools. Something like that. That should be pretty much it. So let's see what happens. Because I know Codex with GPT-5 is very good at following instructions, but can it actually execute on this? I'm not quite sure. 
So I'm just gonna see if we cleaned up the, let me go to server, avatar, video. Yeah, we cleaned that up, okay. So let's see here now. So we are just setting up audio processing, okay. So I wanna see that we actually are starting using those MCP servers we have in our workflow, right? Um, because I haven't really tested too much on Codex for that. So I'm just gonna let this run a few seconds and I'm gonna take you back when we start executing on those MCP servers. Okay, so you can see that was done. That went actually very good to be honest. So uh, I didn't bring you back, but I just went it, I let it run through here and you can see we called all the tools. Uh, we started by calling up the Nano Banana MCP server to create all the images. And you can see then we went on to generate the videos. Uh, we picked the correct chunk, that is was the five second clip, right? And we picked the image and then we uh, had an output path. You can see for the second video we picked a uh, uh, chunk and here we picked the side shot image, right? And yeah, so it seems to work pretty good and it followed the plan we created very good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we have some issues here. Uh, it says that the background music or this was one segment failed, but it did it again. So that worked. Uh, but also with the music, we had some tool called errors, but the music was generated and it is working. So what we ended up with was a 17.7 uh, second video. Uh, this, right? So I can play a few seconds of it, but it's basically a replicate of what we started with. Okay, so we haven't really done any MCPs in Codex before. So today I wanted to take a quick look at how we can actually set up MCP servers in Codex and generate what you see. Yeah, it's basically the one we created before, right? So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I thought it worked out pretty good and it created the plan, it followed it pretty good. So this is the plan, right? Update the plan and here we did everything, right? So, but I wanna try one more thing. So this time I want to try to use the Reddit MCP server to create some kind of voiceover script, turn that into like a audio file using 11 labs, and then recreate this uh, with a bit of a longer session. And this could be some kind of, yeah, post you would do on like some uh, shorts or TikTok or like an avatar video, right, talking head. So let's try it with something else here. So this time uh, I just wanna start with the Reddit MCP server. So I'm just gonna do Let's do find the five top posts in the Singularity subreddit. So hopefully now Codex will understand that we need to use our Reddit MCP server here to figure out that. And then we're gonna try to turn that into like a voiceover script and turn it into this talking head video, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. So you can see we used the Reddit MCP to server, uh, Singularity 5, time frame all. Uh, uh, maybe not time frame all, let's see. Uh, not all time, um, just use hot posts, something like that. We don't all time, that's a bit uh, extensive, I think. Okay, so that worked pretty good. Okay, so let's see here now. So let's do AI is not just ending entry level jobs, it's the end of career ladder as we know it. That's a good like talking head video. Uh, but I kind of wanted to do a new image. So let me find like a new image here we can use for this. Okay, so we have this one. So this is guy one PNG, right? Just a image of a guy with a microphone. Uh, he got he got two microphones, but you get the idea. That's not the point, right? So what we want to do next now is just um, uh, do something like this. So let's do create a, a twenty to thirty second voiceover script to explain the post. Uh, max thirty seconds. Return only spoken words. Send the VO script as an argument to the eleven lab MCP server to create a voice for the script. So let's just see if we can do that up front. So we can have the audio before we run our workflow. I think that's a good way to do it. You could of course implement this into the full workflow, but let's see if we can make this work here. Okay, so that went very well. You can see we get this error tool core, but it's still working. I don't know what's happening here, but you can see uh, here is the returned. And if you check the length, 30 seconds on the spot. So that was impressive. I don't know how we did that, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So what we're gonna do now is just try to combine our guy image with the career ladder voiceover and try to create this into like, um, what do you call it? Like a, <laughs> yeah, talking head video we can use on social media or something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in like guy one here, right? And here I'm gonna do 
yeah, we can change this to AI post. And let's just do AI post here, right? AI post. And that should be basically it. So now I think we can just start this over again and do kind of the full uh, workflow. And yeah, let's see if we can get something uh, on the other side. So I think I'm just going to do quit uh, clear codex and I'm just going to do the prompt again. So read workflow.md, create a plan to execute this. And I'm just going to come up with the plan here. Then we're going to start it and see if we actually can do this. Okay, so we have the plan. So I'm just going to say execute plan. And let's see what happens if we can actually... Yeah, now we have a new image, we have a new uh, voiceover, and yeah, we just need to put everything together. Uh, let's see uh, if we get the same results as we did before. This is a bit longer, it's about 13 seconds longer, but that really shouldn't change much. We should just get more chunks, and yeah, let's see what happens. So you can see now we have started, we are running the banana image to create our, yeah, uh, different shots. And now we are on to generating the videos, so this is looking good. So I'm just gonna take you back when we have put everything together. We can take a look at the images here. So we have the guy, right? We have the angle. So this is, uh, okay, this is from above. Is this from the side? Yeah, it's not so good from the side, but this was pretty good. Uh, this was very good, to be honest. But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna take you back when we have everything put together now. Okay, that looks pretty good. So all our plans are checked out. Uh, if you scroll down here, you can see we have a video final video with music uh, if the music is too loud i'm gonna switch back to the other video but let's try it out now let's watch this and let's see <laughs> uh, is this good uh, so i haven't seen it yet but yeah let's just watch what we created here in using mcp workflows ai isn't just replacing entry-level tasks it's compressing the whole career ladder when mid-level work is automated fewer rungs remain promotion slow and experience stops being the gatekeeper AI isn't just replacing entry-level tasks, it's compressing the whole career ladder. When mid-level work is automated, fewer rungs remain, promotions slow, and experience stops being the gatekeeper. The winners won't be the fastest typists, but the best problem framers, reviewers, and relationship builders, people who wield AI to ship outcomes. Upskill now, learn prompt and tool fluency, cultivate domain expertise, and double down on judgment, ethics, and trust. Climb smarter not slower. Okay, so I wouldn't say that was perfect, but this is pretty good for just a, yeah, simple MCP workflow with everything automated. And there's so much more we can do with this. And I think this is not so bad if you compare it to like HeyGen and Avatar companies like that. So yeah, that was my experiment so far. I'm probably gonna do uh, a bit more work on this. And like I said, if you're a member of the channel, if you wanna become a member, just uh, follow the link in the description, send me an email, and after like a week or so, I will try to invite you uh, when I have the time. And you can find everything here. So hope this gave you some inspiration to start exploring more with MCPs. And I was pretty happy uh, with Codex and MCP servers. I think it's a bit better on Cloud Code still, but uh, we will see. It did follow the instructions very good. And I, yeah, I just enjoyed playing around with it. And I had a lot of fun. So like I said, hope this gave you some inspiration and have a great day and i'll see you again yeah hopefully next week